the A Jocelyn Chase is next. It's three more three for long grade one again. And at the top we've got Area Elliott for David Robertson, Cord Jonathan, Alex Cherry, Master Owen, Martin Lidham, San Pedro, Paddy, Vinny Gerard, the lineup Joshua Southern, two wins, two runs, two wins. The tree man Joshua Southern as well. There on time, David Early, Banadera Ivor, David Robertson, Havily, Darren Thompson, Movie Queen, David Hooley, My Place Late Today is James Shane, Nightclubber, Craig Beckwith, Sacred Memorial and Secret Passageway, Leon Van Rensburg and Sierra Vista Medusa for Vinny Gerard. They're away and racing. In the A Jocelyn, they get to the first. They're all safely over the first of that uh, fence that looks like a Red Indian wigwam. Although you're probably not allowed to say that anymore. Native American wigwam. There we go. As they get to the second, uh, they're all safely over it with the tree man and happily disputing the lead early. Pace doesn't seem all that hot at this stage. With the lineup back in third and there on time. Twenty-four to take in all. And this one. Uh, also free over that one as well with Sacred Memorial. Just the back marker at this point, but a long way to go yet. And the tree man and Haberly will lead into the fourth. Also, a little bit of a slow jump there by Master Owen. The lineup's moved into third, called Jonathan in fourth. On the outside there on time is after that with Area Elliot. And a line of about six of them flanked by the two Vinnie Gerard horses. The two that are a bit detached from the others are Movie Queen and Sacred Memorial as they take the water, which they will skip over without mishap of course and the tree man is three lengths to the good from Havily in second the lineup in third called Jonathan four and Mastero in five as they take number six which they will get over okay little mistake towards the back by my place later days also surely been named by the computer and not by James Shea and it's the tree man who is in the lead into number seven. Good jump there, but oh, there's a fall there. His secret passageway is gone, so it's one of Leon's two out. Pretty sure both of his had won. One and fallen in one, so. Actually, got schooling issues on two of these top trainers. John Morgan, the same, and Darren Thompson has quite a lot of fallers as well. Josh doesn't have many fallers at all, so he must be doing something right as they. Take this funny railing, which is a bit of an odd fence to be taken in a race like this. Expect them to be jumping over the car park in a grade one race, would you? But it's the tree man in the lead, looking over this ditch. Which they're all safely over. Area Elliott is second, Master Owen is third, Haverly four. The main body of the field is beginning to bunch as they take some more car park railings. Can't say as I remember these railings being. Usually in this A Jocelyn, maybe I don't normally commentate on this one. We've got still around to help out. They get to the 12th. Gray's busy today with his hunter chases. There's the tree man who's in the lead. From Area Elliot in second, and then San Pedro Paddy is third. The lineup on the inside of Master Owen tucked in behind them, Baladera Ivor. Then called Jonathan and Haberly have both just dropped back a little bit. Then there on time, Sierra Vista Medusa, Nightclubber and My Place later days. And then the two that are still detached out the back are Sacred Memorial and Movie Queen. But oh, the stables they're from, you wouldn't rule them out. As those stables can both have closers as they get over the 14th. And oh, it's not going to close very well. Leon van Rensburg, also it keeps jumping like that, it was nearly down there. Sacred Memorial. But the tree man is three lengths clear in front from the David Robertson pair of moving to second and third. Balladiera Ivor on the outside of Area Elliot. And there's three in a line, then the two shades of green for San Pedro Paddy as they take the water. The maroony red colours of Master Owen, and then the black and red hoops of the lineup. Hamble is just tucked in behind them as they get over the 16th. 
can see those back two are now starting to tag onto the back of the pack and they'll probably be weaving their way through soon or coming around the outside as they take this turn. There's still over a mile to go. And the Joshua Sutherland pair are now first and second. The tree man in the lineup from Habley who's being driven up the inside in third. Then Balladier arriver and Harry Elliott with Master Owen and tucked in just behind them. San Pedro Paddy. Bit of a gap then to Nightclub. That one's getting closer. He's usually involved at some point in the race and jumped that one really well. Went past San Pedro Paddy as they get over that ditch. And it's the tree man, the lineup and Habley. These three from Balladier arriver and Area Elliott. Then after that one comes Master Owen. Nightclubber is starting to get a little bit closer. They've only got five more to get over. And the tree man is in the lead. Stable mate, the line up is second. This is a big ditch. Right, get over that one. Okay, look at this. Here comes Secret Passage. Now, just starting to Sacred Memorial, sorry, moving his way through the field. Suddenly, he's up there into fifth place as they get over this Grand National type fence, the 21st. There's just three more to get over in there. And the tree man is clear of Balladier arriver, Habily. Then comes a line up and nightclub. A master in an area on it are starting to drop away as they race towards the final three fences. Then the tree man over a third last. Really good leap. Gets over it nicely. Balladier arriver is second. Here comes that Sacred Memorial as we blind out the back early on. Then after that one comes the line up who's got work to do to keep his unbeaten record nightclub is trying to run around the outside the one that's been pulled up is master owen but it's the tree man who's in the lead then racing towards the second last fence the tree man has been in the lead all the way he's being pressed by Balladier arriver sacred memorial is third then the lineup then nightclub run happily over the second last they go and it's the tree man who's still in front here comes nightclub on the outside though throwing down a big challenge the tree man is still clear he's been in the lead all the way he's over the final fence here comes nightclub on the Outside, there's still a third on to go. It's Tree Man in the lead. Nightclub and the lineup are trying to close. Habley back in fourth. But the Tree Man looks like he's got enough. He's hanging on. There's half a third on to go. And he's still in the lead. Stable mate, the lineup is now really starting to eat up the ground, but too late. And the Tree Man takes it. Lyman is second. Then comes Nightclub after that one. Sacred Memorial. Habley, my place later days, was running on at the end. And all the way back to Cord Jonathan. Joshua Sutherland gets a 1-2. It's good to get a 1-2, but in a group 1 it's even better. And he may be the wrong way round. I guess he would probably have been expecting the lineup to win, but the Treeman did. And the Treeman takes it for Joshua Sutherland. The lineup for Joshua Sutherland second. The nightclub ran his usual good race back in third for Craig Beckwith. Sacred Memorial ran a straight race in fourth for Leon Van Rensburg, as did Hubbley for Darren Thompson back in fifth.